You know, I photographed this spot a lot this year. Not particularly this area, but I'd come down this sort of old dirt road and uh, I would just walk around in the woods, try to find little paths out to the river and find areas that I think are interesting. And uh, all of them are interesting, for me at least. And now as you come out here and you see this, this layer of frost on everything, it's like it makes it so much more beautiful. And as I'm walking around here, I'm careful of where I'm stepping because I'm like everything I step on, every piece of ground that I've taken for granted before because I've walked in these, these areas hundreds of times, I've taken it all for granted, but now I see it with this frost on it. It feels like I'm, I'm walking on art. Um, so I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm just gonna take some pictures. We get the Fuji GSW, obviously you guys know. <sighs> First frost of the year, it's gonna be a good day. Let's take some photos. <laughs> browns and those really really light tans. I don't know if you guys can hear it but there's like leaves falling off trees and they're just trickling to the ground and it sounds so beautiful. I don't know if you're gonna pick it up because of the power station off in that direction um, and as you might be able to tell we're underneath some power lines and um, though not classically beautiful I love the dichotomy between man and nature um, these power lines were put here probably a century ago and uh, where I'm standing right now the little path that I'm walking down is one that's created by the people that own the power company so that they can you know main maintenance these uh, these power lines and uh, I just love that sort of power struggle it's in the name right it, it they all kind of coalesce in a way I love that dynamic of like the power of what humans have done here and the power of nature. It's a, it's a really uh, incredible symbol of, of what it means to be human and almost kind of what it means to be American in a, in a way. This is sort of, this is very American. Oh man, my, like I feel the coolness coming up from the ground. It's really crazy. I'm gonna stop talking again because I do find that I'm talking a lot to the camera and this frost is going to eventually disappear soon. So, um, and I gotta move because my feet are frozen. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Just a little fern that's been sitting out here all night. So I'm down here in the location where I shot part of my Justine Curland Highway Kind Taking Inspiration video. Uh, and unfortunately, because at the time they were maintaining these power lines and they're not anymore, they've taken out the little boardwalks that they use to drive the trucks on and everything. Now it's just completely uh, different. It's, like, it's just a swamp land again. Um, and it goes to show the power of nature there's uh there's this like idea that if you shave your chest or something that it'll come back thicker and fuller. And there's a sign for all reference in there, but it's way too early to do a Kramer. But it's interesting to see that like all of this stuff was like pushed down by hundreds of pounds of logs uh and and just used every single day, walked on, dro driven on, and now it's come back thicker and fuller. And uh you just got to look at it, Jerry. But uh yeah, I, I don't know, there's, uh, there's some inspiration there, but as I'm standing here now, 
there's this bag that obviously kind of flew off of something, maybe off of the power plant behind me, um, and it's stuck on this bush. Because the sun is hitting it, there's not a lot of dew left on it. In fact, you can see the water beating up on it, but um, it's a great reflection, so I'm gonna take a picture of that now before that light gets too shitty. say I had some bushwhacking through. I don't know if you can see my beanie or whatever this thing, a knit hat. It's all covered in dirt right now and covered in, uh, that's a thorn bush. It's got caught on my jacket. <laughs> um, but as I'm walking through here, I'm just kind of bushwhacking through all this crap and there's a lot of water, uh, a lot of like, like small puddles, but like kind of hard, hard to get through. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about was um, sometimes the limitations of this camera can be a little bit frustrating. I know I praise this camera quite a bit in a lot of my videos and I love it. It's my favorite camera, but there are times where I do long for the GW where it's at 90 millimeter f 3.5 lens, get a little bit closer to your subject. The focusing distance is about the same, but because it's a little bit longer of a lens, you can kind of, it feels like you're closer to the subject. Um, whereas with this camera, I'm finding myself getting right within that three feet of my focal distance or my focusing distance uh, to try to separate the subject as much as I can. And quite frankly, I like to get up close to subjects sometimes. So um, trying to keep that in mind while also allowing myself to take in these open expanses, but uh, yeah, kind of difficult. I think the next camera I purchase, I know my one of my previous videos I talked about getting another 4x5, but I did fix my Intrepid 4x5, so I'm not gonna buy another one. Um, but I think the next camera I purchase will be a GW690 and just toggle between this and the GW because, uh, I don't know, I just love these cameras so much. Hope you guys appreciate how difficult it was to find this. I got, I ripped up my, my jacket pretty good through thorns. I do want to talk a little bit about Wounds of Winter, which is a project that I worked on last winter. Uh, and I had planned to put out a zine at this time, this year, right now. Um, but the truth is, the more I looked at those pictures and I started putting things together and I started sequencing the images, I was like, this deserves more attention than what I gave it. Um, and I think it'll still be a zine, but I think it just can be a lot better than what I was doing. And um, I, th I just think it's important sometimes to not just put out a body of work because you want to or that you feel like it's ready. Sometimes it's best to just sit on it and wait, give it months, give it a year, give it a couple of years sometimes, forget about a project entirely, and then come back to it and see if you can find something new. Um, maybe your mindset has changed, maybe the style of images that you wanna make have changed. Um, it, it's just, a, photography is an ongoing process as it is with just being a human being. You're constantly changing, you're constantly evolving and uh, your photography is no different. So with that in mind, I really wanted to take my time with the project and explore it a little bit more in depth, really get into the ideas and, and the themes a little bit deeper. Um, 
work with some more people and uh, obviously kind of, you know, include beautiful nature scenes like what we have today. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on Wounds of Winter and where that's at and where it's heading. I've got some cool stuff planned for it though too, so pretty stoked. I said this earlier today and I'm pretty sure I said it on camera um, this area isn't like classically beautiful uh, in any sense like this isn't like a standard contemporary landscape um, but that's what I love about it I find it so peaceful honestly I come out here so often and every time I come out here I'm always just sort of in awe by how beautiful and how, how unruly nature is you know it's just so wild and it can be so abstract and so beautiful and then you've got you know power lines power uh poles you've got these you know electrical plant over here and you got this electrical plant over here it's a, it's a powerhouse and i keep talking about that sort of power dynamic and uh, i don't want to you know beat a dead horse here but it is i just love the the dichotomy between those two and and how there is this constant struggle for power um i don't know i i'd love it and i could i could stand out here all day and sometimes i do i'll just come stand over here walk as far as i can and then once i hit a spot where i can't go any further i just stop and stare and sometimes don't even take a picture I don't know. This part, this part probably won't make it in the video. If you guys can, I don't know if, I hope I caught that. I just, uh, I was trying to walk around the tripod here. Just slipped right into the, into the pond. I'm really glad I put my boots on because these are waterproof, but mistakes happen. Oh, my, God, my foot's soaked. <laughs> God damn it. This bottle's super old. Excuse me. I don't know if I want to touch it because there's nice frost on it. I might take a picture of it, but I hate a singular subject that's been clearly placed. But it, it might be kind of cool. 